Hi there and welcome to the QImage Ultimate supplemental video on the print unclog pattern. If you haven't already watched our video on the print unclog pattern that explains how to set up your printer, what the unclog pattern does, and so forth, you should probably watch that video first. So I'll put a link in this video to the other video. In this video we're going to be talking about some new features found in the print unclog pattern. The first feature is the ability to print a full or a half page pattern. A half page unclogged pattern can be useful for wide format printers where you may have a longer minimum length or you're printing on a roll and you don't necessarily want to print a full page say eight inches tall you might only want to print half of that. But the main part of this video and the main thing that I want to go over here is the new option that allows you to schedule print unclog patterns starting on a particular day and repeating every day, every seven days, whatever you desire for your printer. The reason we want to do that is because a lot of inkjet printers tend to form clogs on the print head if they sit for a while and they're not used regularly. So you can use this scheduling feature to schedule unclogs while you're away or just have it print the unclogged pattern every night for you without you having to think about it. So rather than just printing or queuing the job, to get to the schedule, we click the new schedule button here. And that brings up the scheduling dialog. The dialog is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to print the first unclogged pattern on a day of your choice, a time of your choice. Then after that first unclogged pattern, you can repeat any number of times and the default is minus one here which means don't ever stop keep on printing every day for at this time so here we can change these options and let's say you're going to be gone for a week and you want to ensure that it doesn't print any more than seven prints so we can do this and set it to start up uh, tomorrow at 2 in the afternoon or whenever you want to set the time. You can set the time with these dialogues here. And this will print seven unclogged patterns which would be seven days since we have the, the time delay set here to one day and then it'll stop. Let me just set this back to infinite. Um, there's also a, a button here. This is a good way to test the feature. If you just want to test it out, you can press this button and it will set the date and time to one minute from right now. And then you can just click OK and we'll, we'll show you how that works here in just a second. But let me cancel this dialogue right now and just say again, if you haven't watched that uh, general video on how to set up the print unclog pattern, it's a good idea to watch that because I'm starting this video assuming that you've already done your printer setup, you've checked the appropriate boxes, and that you have a setup for your printer here that is a good pattern for your printer, because it's important to click this setup button and do that first. So once it's all set up and you know you have a print unclogged pattern that's going to work for you, then you would click the schedule button here and go on from there. So let's just show you how it works. I'm going to click this now plus one minute button and click OK. And then it just displays the pattern. You can look at the printer up here, make sure it's the right printer, the right page size. See if this looks reasonable for what you selected. I did a half page, so that looks good for me. Uh, and once you are done with that, you just click yes to start the scheduler and it'll say first print will occur today at 3.48 p.m. and you get a warning 30 seconds before it's actually going to print the pattern and we'll see that in just a second the the timer is running now and you can continue using QImage while that is going on and when the time comes up to print the unclogged pattern it'll simply load the unclogged pattern print it and then go back to where you were so we're probably getting close to that 30 seconds right now and I'm just going to keep my hand off the keyboard and mouse and there you'll see it put the unclogged pattern exactly as I had designed it and when you look in the lower right you can see that it's processing the job printing it to the printer 
and once it's done printing, it'll go right back to where you were in QImage Ultimate. Now I have my printer turned off because I don't need to print one of these right now. This is just a demo video. So that's why I'm getting this error message the printer's not on. So I'll just cancel out of that. And that's basically how it works. It's that simple. Up here in the top right, you'll see that we have a button that's shaped like a clock. If the button is blue, it means that the scheduler is running. And if you read the hint that comes up, it tells you that the next print is scheduled in 23 hours and 59 minutes. So that would be right. It just printed one, and one day from now, it'll print the next one. If you leave that running, it'll just keep on printing. One per day. This button is also used as a toggle. So if I click this button, you'll see that the clock turns white, and you'll know that the scheduler is now turned off so now it won't print anything. One easy feature here to make things a whole lot easier is if you've set this up let's say for you like to do it at 10 p.m. or midnight or whatever you've set it up for you don't have to go back through the file print unclog pattern and go back in there to start it again once again this is a toggle button so if all you do is simply click this button It'll turn the scheduler back on. It'll tell you that the next print will be tomorrow at 3.48 p.m. And that was the time that we specified in our scheduling dialog. And it's now just waiting to do the next print. Now at this point, you can click File and then Minimize to System Tray. And if you click that, it will put QImage Ultimate down in your system tray, normally in the lower right of Windows and it'll just run in the background and whenever it needs to print whenever the schedule comes up it'll print an unclogged pattern without you having to have QImage Ultimate on your taskbar or bothering you or anything it'll just run in the background so that's a good way if you want to just print one print per day like I do because I have a CIS printer and it gets a lot of clogs it really needs to print a little something each day so what I do is let me turn this off for now, show you from the start. I'll open up QImage Ultimate, just click this button, and it'll tell me when the next print is going to start, and I'll know that it'll do it that time every day, and then I'll just click File, Minimize to System Tray, and QImage Ultimate will just be down in your taskbar down here. You'll have an icon for it, and it'll print that pattern every day. If I want to open up QImage Ultimate again, I'll just click on the yellow QImage Ultimate icon in my system tray and it'll open back up to this screen. Now obviously you have to leave your computer on for this scheduler to work because QImage Ultimate is just waiting for the proper time to print your unclog pattern. But personally, I like to leave my computer on all the time anyway. I think mine's been on for eight years straight and only been powered off for things like diagnostics or installing a new hard drive or things like that. Um, I find that the computers last longer if you leave them on. The down and up cycles are where most of the wear and tear occurs. So me personally, I don't mind leaving my computer on. It's on anyway. So that's how that works. I'm going to turn it off here and I'll show you one more thing. And Another thing to note is you'll notice that the hint says right click to edit the schedule. So if I just click this with the left mouse button, it'll start the schedule again as I had prescribed it previously. But if I right click, it'll open up the print unclog pattern dialog. I can click schedule and change the schedule. I'm going to click this now plus one to set it off one minute from now. That's a good button for the purposes of a demo or testing. Click OK. I'll say yes, that looks right. And now, now it says this is the time it's going to print. But I wanted to point, point out I could be doing work in QImage Ultimate or I could have just open it up from the system tray because I wanted to do something new and add a couple prints to the page um, and start doing some work on these prints. I could go into the page editor, move these around, resize them. I still get the warning that uh, it's about to print an unclogged pattern. But I want to show you, again, I'm going to keep my hands off the mouse and off the keyboard. 
even if you're working on something, you have photos in the queue, you're working on sizing and things like that, if it's time for the print unclogged pattern to start printing, which would be any second now, it will queue up the unclogged pattern, as we'll see right there. It'll print that. It'll go right back to where you were. It'll bring your photos and whatever you were doing. So this is about done. It just got done printing and you'll see that the two photos I was working on prior to that unclog job coming up, they're back now and I can continue to work on those. Now if you do happen to be doing something like, let's say I clicked on this and the print unclog pattern is about to print and I'm doing something, like I'm in the middle of this dialog adding a photo mat to this print. If it's time right now, let's say, to print the unclog pattern, it will wait until you're done doing whatever you're doing and whether I accept this or not, as soon as I close that and I get back to the main window here, then it will go ahead and do the unclog pattern. So it's not going to interrupt you in the middle of a primary task and, and mess up what you're doing. Finally, one other thing that I'll point out here is that when you print this unclog pattern, let's go into the schedule, there's a box down here that says pre-print the unclogged pattern as soon as the scheduler is turned on. Now, sometimes, specifically if you're going to be going away and you're going to be printing unattended, it might be a good idea to check this box because if you check that box and click OK, what will happen is it'll ask you to verify. You'll say, yeah, that looks good. And it'll print a copy right now. And that way you can look at your print, look at what came out of your printer, and make sure that it's okay. And now that's done printing. And again, I get the error message because I just have my printer turned off. There's no reason for me to uh, print that right now. But it's a good way to verify that everything's okay by printing one now. Now that pre-print did not affect the schedule. If I go up here, you can see that you know the next scheduled print is still going to come out of the printer. So hopefully this will help everybody keep their printers unclogged by allowing you to schedule prints and keep your printer from going into long periods of inactivity. And that will often solve the problem where you get clogs in the first place. Thanks for watching.